EECP has three distinct acute effects on cardiac function. First, because the retrograde aortic blood flow produced arrives at the heart just when the heart relaxes, at the precise moment of the inception of diastole, there is an increase in coronary perfusion pressure and flow. Second, because pressure on the lower body vascular bed is released just before contraction, there is an immediate drop in peripheral vascular resistance resulting in decreased afterload. Third, the combined effects of decreased afterload and increased venous return results in increased cardiac output without an increase in cardiac oxygen consumption. When stenosis or obstruction occurs in a coronary artery, the myocardium served by that artery and its associated vasculature becomes ischemic and may become necrotic. Patients with angina who receive EECP have demonstrated chronic benefit consisting in increased capacity for exercise with less ischemia. A suggested mechanism of action for this chronic effect is that the increased coronary perfusion that results from the retrograde blood flow produced by EECP favors the development of collateral vascularization. When the blood flow in a coronary artery is reduced, a pressure differential develops between normally perfused myocardium, labeled P1, and ischemic myocardium, labeled P2. During EECP, peak diastolic pressure may increase to 150 millimeters of mercury or more, thereby increasing the pressure differential. The increased perfusion pressure differential promotes the formation or widening of collateral vessels in the myocardium, reversing the ischemic process and producing the observed benefits.